Welcome into the boneyard of Calhoun City. We've got a great matchup to kick off the MHSAA regular season. Calhoun City and the Houston Hilltoppers. A little 2A versus 4A action, but it's definitely a regional rivalry. Both teams have high hopes for this season. Calhoun City, two years ago, were in the state championship, but last year they just won two games. So they're looking to bounce back, and it starts tonight. Houston, on the other hand, they had a really tough year off the field last year, so they're looking to use that motivation to start the season on the right foot this year. They have a really big offensive line, and they've got a great running back. He's rated the third best running back in the state, although my camera guy back here, AI, probably would say he is the best running back in the state, Jalen Washington. So Calhoun City, we already talked to Coach MD Jennings, and he said that if they can just slow him down a little bit, that Calhoun City has a shot at the upset. But... We are still going in the trenches. We're going to do an in the trenches special tonight. We got not one, but two teams to meet tonight. And the first of them are the Caledonia Cavaliers coming off a historic season. But now they graduated a lot of seniors and they got to do it again and meet that standard. One, two, three, four, up. Caledonia has some great slogans. Swords up, burn the ships. Since Michael Kelly took over as head coach, the culture has changed. But that culture is going to be put to the test this year after graduating a lot of seniors that got this program literally one half away from its first ever state championship appearance. We expect our young men to rise to the occasion. Uh, they know what's at stake and um, they, know, they know where the bar's been set for our football program and they know the expectations and, and we're going to keep moving this thing forward. Before we go forward, we got to go back. Caledonia held the lead at halftime in the North Half Championship against Senatobia, but watched that lead and the game slip away in the second half, something not lost on this year's seniors. It felt terrible coming out, thinking we had it after halftime. Came out, kind of crapped the bed, and it didn't feel very good after that. They'll definitely miss the seniors who graduated, but like Coach said, they set the standard, and now it's on this year's team to meet that. Uh, it's a lot, you know. We got the whole whole of Caledonia. They're, they want to see us win, and uh, I hope we can win, and I believe that the team can do it. Something last year's seniors didn't do that these boys already did? Ha <laughs> ha! The Fast Five. Uh, used to be Drew Brees. Used to be, but what about now? You still... You have holding auditions this Drew year? Lock. Drew Locke. Drew Locke? Yes. Okay. Uh, Justin Simmons. Justin Simmons. Yep. I mean, safety. Broncos. Hits safety. hard. There That's you right. Go. Probably Back to the Future. Back to the Future. A yeah. classic guy, yep. huh? Okay. Doc. Doc. Oh. Deadpool. Deadpool. That's a great one, dude. Great answer. Uh, spaghetti. Spaghetti? With meatballs or just normal? Balls? Just normal spaghetti. Just normal, no yeah. meatballs. Yeah. No meatballs. Favorite meal, probably spaghetti. Spaghetti? Yeah. All right, classic. Shoot. Uh, I want to go to Hawaii. Hawaii. That's a there. popular one. And uh, Probably going to the mountains of Colorado and snowboarding. Mountains of the Colorado snowboarding. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah, not a lot of mountains in Mississippi. No. no. Not too many mountains. Hail State for sure. Hail State for sure. None of the above. None of the above. What do you got? Uh... Let's see out. I'm more of a uh, Georgia. Georgia. Georgia? Yeah. So go dogs. Yeah. Go dogs. Alrighty, we'll have continued coverage from the Boneyard in Calhoun City at 6 o'clock. Remember, kickoff is at 7.30, so we're hoping some fans show up. We can get a kind of feel for what these uh, fans are hoping for for both these teams. But for right now, reporting in Calhoun City, Matt St. Jean, WTVA 9 Sports.